Hey, how are you doing? I'm Odin and welcome to Amsterdam Clock Vlog. Today I'm going to take you to the Amsterdam Light Festival. This annual festival resides at Amsterdam and right now it's the 1st of December. So let's dive right in. Enjoy. So folks, unfortunately Yvette and Robin couldn't be here, but um, today I'll be narrating this walk and of course I'll show you what the Amsterdam, Amsterdam Light Festival is all about. So here we are getting to the first exhibition. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a bit dark, of course. It's called Bloom Light by Vau. And uh, looks like this. So uh, on the way I will tell you a lot about Amsterdam and of course what I know about Amsterdam. So on the other side of this canal you can see these houses and in the uh, Second World War the, occupi the occupiers of Amsterdam they would uh, take out some of the inhabitants and um, they will put them on trains. So uh, I'm avoiding some words uh, to make sure I don't get into trouble with YouTube. But uh, yeah, so, and there a lot of people are commemorated by plaques on the, uh, on the street. So right now we are striding forward. Here are, some of the lights of the exhibition. I must say it's quite dark. Because the street lights are dimmed for this festival. There's another one. So this is the 11th edition of uh, the Amsterdam Light Festival. Let me see if I can catch the light. That would be beneficial. And I did. So we are going towards the second one of this edition. Bit of construction here. And the next exhibition actually is in a small park. And uh, it's called Hourglass. 
by, let me see. Willems Vlug. <laughs> Willems Vlug. Which is a bit of a strange name for Dutch people, but no matter. Actually, um, the uh, Amsterdam Light Festival in recent years has been held in the eastern side of the center of Amsterdam. And uh, I must say, this edition has 20, uh, 20 pieces of art, light art. And I must say, they are a bit scattered. So, um, it takes a while to get to the next uh, exhibition. So I'm moving at a high pace. Because, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, artworks are a bit far apart. So, over here in the park is the next ex exhibition. And on the front and on the back is a time lapse of the seasons, I think. Or is it like 24 hours? No, it's the seasons. <coughs> so it's called Hourglass. I think it's just 24 hours. So we'll go to the other side. So this is just a park and it, people live over there. So it must be a bit strange to see artwork in the park across from you. So this is a different side of the medallion. <laughs> All right, let's try it forward to the next. Next artwork. And the next artwork is Particle Matters. So today is December the 1st and uh, this is the day where the Amsterdam Light Festival opened and I must say it's not very busy or anything. I must say that it's, it's like 2 degrees uh, Celsius outside so it's a bit uh, frisk. thing is about the street I'm walking on now is that a part of the headman's bodyguard was filmed here and uh, I'm working on a video right now with the headman's bodyguard so and actually it's here where you see Samuel L. Jackson jump in between two uh, two trams so I'm crossing the street now. Finally some light. It's a bit dark uh, everywhere. Okay, in the distance you can see the uh, particle matter. It's over there and all the way at the back you can see another piece of art. Usually when I go to the Amsterdam Light Festival, it's way, way busier, but now, uh, well, it's, it's okay. So it's now 
9 in the evening. And let's go towards this exhibition. In this part, a, uh, a large part of the, uh, well, uh, a part of the headman's bodyguard was filmed. Uh, the street you're looking at now, at the end, that's where some car crashes and uh, Samuel L. Jackson jumps into a boat. He hijacks a boat. So, Right, into the darkness we go. Um, this uh, this artwork isn't my uh, particular favorite. It's like a bit bland. If you see the rest of the uh, of the artwork uh, in the rest of the exhibition. Actually, this is a campus, and uh, usually, uh, well, at least in the in the last three episodes of uh, the Amsterdam Light Festival, uh, it was held here. So the route usually comes through here. You know what? What, what I notice is that uh, there aren't many boats right now. So usually they're like uh, bumper to bumper, but now this is all empty. Maybe the people don't want to want to go anymore. So um, speaking of which, you actually have like a few options um, to do the Amsterdam Light Festival. One is by foot, what I'm doing now. And one, of course, is by bike, and one of them is by boat. I wouldn't do it by car because <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> you, you won't see anything. But um, yeah, but walking is good. But uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, they're they're so far uh, spaced out, so. Um, it's quite a trip, but uh, I'm here to uh, to entertain you. <laughs> so this is a campus. It's quite nice, actually. It's uh, combining the new with the old. So we are approaching another uh, artwork, and it's on top of that building on the tower, and it's uh, a ladder. And it's by Scala uh, uh, Pioli. Oh no, it's called Scala Pioli. By Mas Massimo Uberti. Right, and in, the and in the distance, well, I don't think you can see it, is the next artwork. So, it's quite a walk. Oh, here come the boats, finally. Okay. <laughs> So over there, you can see uh, another artwork. I'll try to show it to you. That's a bit hard to see because um, uh, this artwork is specially made for the ones on the boat and uh, not for people on the side walking uh, during the tour. The boat. Hello. <laughs> All 
All right. Straighten for it. Again, construction. So the best thing to do when you are doing the Amsterdam Light Festival is to grab a bike, rent a bike or what you have on a skateboard and um, just, uh, just do the route. Uh, on bike it will take you like half an hour. But if you're walking, you could easily do it in like uh, like an hour. So be prepared to be out and about in an hour. Unfortunately, the uh, festival, well, fortunately or unfortunately, the festival is in the winter. So um, it would be wise to uh, put on some layers because sometimes it can get really cold. Well, we are coming up to the next artwork. Which is called Hole in the Sky. And to show you, it's really hard to see from the side. And you can just only see it from the water. Uh, so most of the artworks are visible from, from the sides, but this, this, this one isn't, which is a bit unfortunate. I, uh, it looks like a, a large parachute with a circle of light in it. All right. Let's continue. So living in Amsterdam can be quite expensive, you, you wouldn't say, but these are quite expensive houses, you know. It's the center of Amsterdam. Well, East isn't really the center of Amsterdam, but to live here is, you know, you, uh, you, you, you won't be living on a budget. To say the least. All right, more construction. Just in the camera a bit. So we are very close to the uh, Amsterdam Zoo, which is called Artis. And this is uh, very close to it. I, I can show you. Over there is Artis. And uh, this is the next uh, exhibition. And it's called uh, XYZ. Boat. All right. So, Artis, the um, which is the zoo in front of you, has been in, under construction for a long time. It's been years and years, so I hope it comes to something good. The art route.
I'll tell you a story about uh, uh, artists in a bit. So, in the distance, you can see a true city gate from Amsterdam. It is one of the few left, and of course, on the new market, there is another uh, another city gate, and that is in the center of Amsterdam. All the way in the distance, you can see um, the Tropen Museum. It's just a beautiful building, by the way. Look at this. This is pure gold. Really beautiful. Not the billboard, of course. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, continuing to the next one. The next one is Light Wave by Lauren Ewing. And uh, it's a lot of pedals. The e bikes of Amsterdam. People in their houses. It's great. Still some people about. Okay, in the distance you can see the next the next artwork. So on the side you can see artists. Well, I hope you can see it because it's a bit dark. So we're walking around artists right now, the zoo. When you film it like this, it looks beautiful. There are quite a lot actually. tell you a story about artists. So in the Second World War, the occupiers of uh, Amsterdam, well the Netherlands, they were looking for certain people and uh, uh, a lot of people were hiding in the zoo and they were pretending to work there and uh, eventually they would um, shelter there and live there for like years uh, and uh, that's a well-known story in Amsterdam all right so the next one that is seriously my favorite because I think it's very uh, very creative and it's called follow the light it's made by three people and uh, I will make sure to put their names underneath this uh, video but right now I I don't know have their names I don't have their names so this is actually a quite a nice neighborhood these buildings are beautiful with the old industrial and uh, combined with the new so I would love to live here. Ah, oh, look. So, uh, here it says artists. Okay. hit by any, any cyclists. So 
So here you can see all the boats. I hope you can see it. Ah, you don't love me. <laughs> I'm not. How old are you? We love you. Are you single? I'm not. No, I'm not. Right. Um, so I, I really think this is very creative. How old are you? I'm kind of single. Right, look at this. This is amazing. This is, I, I think this is very creative. So, uh, in the previous editions of the Amsterdam Light Festival, um, they used to put stories of the neighborhood and its history uh, among the route, but uh, at this edition uh, they didn't do it. So that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, I will show you um, on the site some of the uh, some of the stories I. Uh, uh, I've seen in previous edition. Right. Of course, um, here in Amsterdam, about around the uh, uh, Christmas, it becomes, and of course Hanukkah. It gets uh, a bit dark, so our days will uh, get shorter. And so uh, the Amsterdam Light Festival is a, a good welcome. It's a nice welcome to, um, to the darkness, <laughs> to fight the darkness. So this is a, another exhibition and let me see what it's called. It's a bridge of a thousand dreams. So I will show you the other side. of the light. <laughs> so another nice bridge over there. Hope you can see it. Okay, let's look at the other side. This artwork. Let's hope we don't fall into the water. That would be beneficial. And this side is a bit better. Okay, let me see what the next is called. If I can see it, because it's a bit dark. Okay. 
So the next is Spin Me A Yarn by Studio Vertigo. And uh, you can see already the yarn. And over there is the ball. But uh, I, I've seen there are two because I did some reconnaissance and uh, this is not exactly the viewpoint it's a bit further ahead it's very nice this crane it's an old crane all right look there's the yarn and uh, it's connected by a light, oh, yeah. a string of light. <laughs> there is still still a lot to uh, to see. <laughs> It's very funny because people in Amsterdam, they live on boats and sometimes these cannot be like your box boat because sometimes in Amsterdam you have these box boats, like, uh, like sort of cubicles, but uh, um, sometimes people remodel these ships. Oh look, there's a box boat. <laughs> so over here, there's a regular ship remodeled as a house, a houseboat, and here's a square boat. Okay, let me see if I can cross and I can show you the other yarn. There it is. All right. So I will show you some of the um, uh, previous artworks from uh, previous editions. And of course, don't forget that we already did one from two years ago. Um, an episode about the Amsterdam Light Festival. So you can find the link uh, underneath this video and of course I will post the link of the uh, Amsterdam Light Festival underneath this video. Right, continuing. So this year there are only 20 artworks and uh, sometimes these artworks will be stored and uh, reused or um, placed on exhibitions around the world. So they travel in groups and uh, they are being reused. And sometimes Amsterdam uh, just puts them uh, permanently. Uh, for example, the light kite uh, sits in a park in, uh, in West west of Amsterdam.
Okay, so these houses are amazing, like really old. I hope you can see them. It's great. Look at that. So in front of us there is a, uh, there used to be a bridge and I think they are uh, restoring it because it's completely gone, which is a bit weird, especially when you, uh, uh, <laughs> when you suddenly are confronted with no bridge. Right, let's see. So the next one is uh, to merge, I think. Yeah, to merge. And we are walking towards it now. All right. I think in the previous edition there had like uh, Japanese uh, signs. Yeah. And that was great. Another boat. So underneath here, and also. Uh, Also pieces of the same uh, same art. Okay. Right in front of you, you can see the National Maritime Museum, which has a, a quite a splendid roof, by the way. And uh, always docked in front of it is a ship. And uh, right now I don't know which ship it is, but the Amsterdam sometimes uh, lays in front of it. Hard route. Look at that. All right, let's cross the street. So the next uh, artwork is called Gloeilam, which is a Dutch word for uh, um, a little light bulb. It doesn't come any complexer than that light bulb. And I think there are three, three large light bulbs on the water. You can see some of them over there. So I told you about the ships, um, they are remodeled to be houses, over here there are a few in a row. So I'll show you the Maritime Museum, 
I will show you the glue lamp in about a minute. So in the distance you can see a science museum, it's called Nemo. And uh, especially for kids it's quite fun. I haven't been there yet, but uh, maybe I'll do a video about it in the near future. Alright, here are these boats. Oh, that's a small one. There you can see the light bulbs. Floating on the water. Okay, there's one in the center of your screen. One more. And there's the last in the center of your screen. All right. They're quite huge actually, you wouldn't say. Okay, continuing because we have a lot a lot of ground to cover So what I'm about to do now is a standard procedure because this is actually a bike uh, bike path. Uh, oh well. Right. It's a lot of lights. So this is called Inversion Waterfall. So 
trying to distance. You can see the light gate by Aaron Baruch. Sorry, Edwin Baruch. <laughs> and of course, this is really great when you're on the water. Okay. So we have still got a lot of ground to cover. So as you can see there aren't many people about, out and about, I must say. And the next, uh, next artwork is uh, still a few hundred meters away. So uh, the Amsterdam Light Festival, of course, with the energy transition and the usage and the usage of energy, the Amsterdam Light Festival is trying to reduce uh, uh, the amount of wastage energy wastage so almost all the exhibitions are made with led lights and uh, don't use a lot of energy and uh, even the uh, crew is transported on electric bikes and on uh, electric boats but of course in the center of amsterdam you you just need an electric boat because uh, with a, uh, a fossil fuel uh, engine, you cannot uh, sail the canals anymore. All right, let's try it that way. Looks a bit better. Of course, you can see Amsterdam in the distance. So this is fairly close to the river, by the way. And uh, all the way in the distance, but I don't think you can see it, is Central Station. But that, that's in the middle of your screen now. So next up is, uh, we're going to the Montalban Storen Tower. And uh, that's been there for a long time. And... Uh, the story goes that it was supposed to be uh, from a large castle, but the castle was never built. So it's called the Montalban Store Tower. So over there you can see the light gate. Of course, it's great for a boat to uh, sail through it. So the next uh, artwork is uh, rays of light, and uh, with the. Uh, the Montalban's tower in the center. Uh, 
and is made by Tamar Frank. Let's cross the street and hope I don't get hit. Somebody's waiting. That's good. All right. So in the distance, you can see the tower. Let me see if I can get it a bit better. That's cozy. These are all strings going towards the tower. With a lot of black light, ultraviolet light. And of course connecting to the tower. So I was telling you before about the headman's bodyguard, uh, the movie with uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Samuel L. Jackson, which was filmed uh, in close proximity to where we are now. And in a few seconds I will show you one of the canals some scenes were filmed. Um, and that is uh, some of the some of the scenes where Ryan Reynolds uh, rides his motorcycle through the canals. right now that looks pretty nice and uh, in the distance you can see uh, the new market
and uh, up next is uh, tube display from Lambert Camps. Camps. Lambert Camps. And uh, it's all the way over there, which is also quite original, I think. Very nice houses across the street. Very dark. And uh, in the distance, behind uh, the quite crooked house, you can find uh, the Rembrandt house. Where Rembrandt used to work and live, of course. Right. Okay. Here we go, let's take a look. Oh, this. All right, let's move forward. Okay, so this is a bit weird because you would expect a bridge over here, but there isn't. And uh, again, here's another uh, location from the headman's bodyguard. If you want to know, so over there in the distance, uh, is where the um, a smart car went into the water and over there is where Ryan Reynolds takes the stairs on the motorbike all right let's go to the next uh, art artwork um, I'll give you a glimpse of the uh, Rembrandt house. This is actually quite a nice lock. And uh, the house next to it is excellent. So it is an old lock. It looks really well. And here on the side, these houses, these are great. Like typical Amsterdam houses, canal houses. Right. So over there, next to the Christmas tree, is the Rembrandt house, and uh, it's very impressive to see, uh, to be there. So I've been there a few times. It's very nice. I think it's being remodeled right now. Let's watch the bikes. Okay, going down the stairs. And uh, we are walking uh, towards the uh, city hall or the town hall. And uh, next to the town hall or city hall is the uh, is a market. And uh, it's actually quite a nice market. 
Uh, right now it's closed, of course, because it's like quarter past ten. Um, but on Saturdays it's uh, it's like the fullest, and uh, it's best to go on Saturdays. Okay. And the next exhibition is uh, Flying with the Light by Group B. <laughs> it looks like this. say that a lot of artworks are made with white light and uh, I'd rather see a bit more color but uh, who am I to judge of course this is town hall city hall and we only have but a few artworks to go. This is a nice street, Stahlstadt, and at the end of this street, a um, also another movie is uh, was filmed, and it's Ocean's 12. And George Clooney and Brad Pitt stand on the uh, uh, on the aluminum bridge. So in the distance you can see Munz Tower. Get this straight a bit. And we are coming close to the starting point where I started. But when we cross that point, uh, I will go in a different direction. I must say Amsterdam by night is quite beautiful, especially with the lights. And uh, set aside from the light festival, you know, the bridges with those lights, that is amazing. So, um, the Amsterdam Light Festival has three information points and we are coming close to one now. But first let me show you, oh, I think it's called Dragonflies in the distance. Especially nice for the boats. Yes, it's fireflies. Right. This is a bit better. I think this is especially for the boats and not really for a uh, for people who do the tour on uh, on foot. Oh. Police on a horse.
Let me see if I can catch that. I think so. Gotcha, that part. So this is quite a beautiful bridge, by the way. So this is one of these points from the light festival. And as you can see, it's closed now because we are running towards half past 10. So if you would think this is the skinny bridge, no, it isn't. Um, it's over there with the light beams. Usually because these lights were first introduced on the skinny bridge Which you can see now in the distance with these uh, light beams Beams of light So this isn't the skinny bridge So in the, behind this bridge, you can see uh, in the darkness, the Hermitage, which is a museum previously uh, used for, to display Russian art. But uh, with the uh, situation in the Ukraine, um, Dutch government has said, no, we don't want any Russian artwork, so here's your artwork back. That's quite a bold statement. Um, speaking of um, film locations, of course, films are being shot in Amsterdam. And of course, one of them is uh, James Bond Diamonds Are Forever. And uh, on the skinny bridge, and on the side of the skinny bridge, uh, some scenes were shot with Mr. Wind and Mr. Kid on uh, on the bridge itself. And uh, in the distance, uh, you could see Sean Connery as James Bond. Um, and if you want to know more about film locations of uh, James Bond in Amsterdam, of course we have a video. Okay, so we started our tour over here. And uh, we started across this bridge. And now in the distance you can see the skinny bridge. Which is one of the last artworks we'll be visiting because we are running out of artwork. Light art. And of course, throughout this video, I will show you uh, previous artworks from a previous edition which is always fun to see, so you can, can compare uh, what they made last time and uh, this time. Again, white light, <laughs> not red or anything. <laughs> so, it doesn't doesn't make it more cozy, the uh, white light. So there you have it. An uh, entire white skinny bridge. Made out of white lines. Show you the skinny bridge. There you go. This is actually quite a busy bike path. If you should know, in, uh, when you come here at 8 in the morning, a lot of cyclists run through this. 
and of course nice nice canal houses so in the distance you can see the uh, Royal Theatre Carré and uh, there's a funny story well funny there's a interesting story about Carré you can see here in, uh, in the middle of your screen the name and where the name is the, uh, the roof construction from, uh, from Carré was actually designed by Gustav Eiffel the uh, man behind the Eiffel Tower so but he, he didn't make it he only designed it okay we are coming up to the last artwork and it's called sign by uh, Fendel and the wolf you look at that that's beautiful so the uh, the sign artwork is uh, across the uh, the Amstel Hotel and uh, the Amstel Hotel is uh, that's actually quite a nice lock but uh, the Amstel Hotel you can see in the distance but uh, you can see it better in like uh, a few minutes um, is regularly used by uh, famous people pop artist uh, who do a gig in Amsterdam or sell out the stadium but also famous people uh, movie stars um, the reason for that is that it's quite luxurious and uh, of course it is well protected so if you are a movie star or a billionaire or a millionaire or whatever you want and you would say you, you go to the Amstel Hotel and then uh, yeah it's quite safe especially if you have fans or something uh, you get a lot of privacy so it's uh, like uh, our Ritz or Savoy you could say okay almost getting to the final exhibition just to live here uh, especially around the uh, Amstel Hotel is very expensive you can see uh, but the house is across the across the hotel these are uh, majestic houses all right so we are almost at the end but we still need to cross the street bikes everywhere look at that okay so over here you have the Amstel Hotel okay let me try and cross the street and here we have the last artwork
All right, that concludes our uh, Amsterdam Light Festival for 2022. All right, I hope you enjoy. If you want to see more of Amsterdam, select one of the videos on the left. We appreciate it if you would subscribe and follow us on the socials. Thank you for watching. Until next time.